Hello YouTube, this is Deborah Smith coming to you today with my Wednesday Food for Thought. I hope everyone is having a fantastic Wednesday so far. And I'm going to get right into this quote. My quote for today is create a life that feels good on the inside and not one that just looks good on the outside. I'll read that one more time. Create a life that feels good on the inside and not one that just looks good on the outside. Uh, this was a, a great quote. And uh, I thought about this quote and I said, yeah, I think I want to talk on this because we do have a lot of people that uh, that try to do what looks good on paper, what would look good to other people, what uh, trying to fit in or trying to be of a status that they're not, you know, just to be seen. Uh, and a lot of times those things fail because we're not doing what God has gave us the gift to do. And what feels good on the inside is what he given us to do. You know, that's our talent. Uh, uh, that's what we should strive toward. But a lot of times people are aiming to impress and they want to do what looks good on paper or to get, you know, uh, praise, you know, all the praise and for people to think that they're more than what they are and trying to be of a status that they're not. And, you know, I often say to uh, my children and everybody that I not, that I know. I'm so glad that I'm a person that never wanted to be like anyone else. I really love me. I love what God has put on the inside of me. I love who I am, regardless of whether you love me or think I'm anything or not. I love me. And that's most of all what counts first is that we love ourselves, you know, and that we be true to ourselves and do the things that we know that God has put on the inside of us and the things that feel good to us on the inside and that we're good at and the talents that he's blessed us with is what we should strive toward. Not trying to be like anyone else, our friends, our families, our rich uh, 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 friends or whoever. You know, we need to be us. And there's so many people so unhappy today because they're trying to live a life that's not them. Trying to be somebody else. Uh, it used to be a saying that we used to say, trying to keep up with the Joneses. You cannot be the Joneses if you're not the Joneses. You have to be who you are, the Smiths or whoever you are. You have to be who you are. Be true to yourself. Love yourself. That is so very important. And once you find out that you're doing what feels good on the inside, it shows on the outside and your life will be so much prosperous uh, you'll be able to, you know, accomplish those goals and things that you set for yourself. But trying to be someone else, it'll never work because you're not someone else. You're you. And always do what feels good on the inside. Don't try to do what might look good or what somebody else might want you to do or think you should be. If they can't accept you for who you are, then they're no friend of yours. You have to be true to yourself. There's a scripture, and I always want to bring up a scripture in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 that says, In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Uh, we have to... Uh, Acknowledge the Lord and whatever he puts on the inside of us, like I said, what feels good to us is what we should be doing. Not what someone else thinks we should be doing, what looks good on paper, uh, what looks good to the other person, what we think might look good. Because sometimes we go after things just because it looks good to us, but it don't fit us. It don't fit our life. You know, so we have to be true to ourselves. So I'm saying to you all today and to myself. Always be true to yourself. Love you. Love who you are. Whether you up there right now or not, you're still special. You're still somebody. You know, you're, st you know, in God's eye, we're all the same. There are, there are no big U's and little I's. Not in his eye. There is no, no big person. You know, we're all the same in God's eye. So love yourself. Be true to yourself. Do what feels good to you and not what looks good on paper. I really appreciate you all uh, uh, listening to me today, and I hope that this Wednesday Food for Thought calls someone to think uh, if this is something you've been wrestling with, you know, uh, I hope it helps. 
And I hope that you all will continue to have a blessed day. Uh, I try to bring Wednesday's food for thoughts, like I said, because it's the middle of the week. And sometimes we need a pick me up or or a, a good word or something that might inspire us. So that's why I chose Wednesday. So I hope, like I said, that you all will continue to have a great day. And until my next video, everyone, please be blessed.